Welcome to the Copper Spice YouTube channel, and thanks for joining us. This video will explore a few of the proposals which were accepted into the C23 standard. A peek at C23. The C23 standard is in the final stages. At the meeting this February, the committee will reply to any remaining comments, do a final vote, and then the standard will be published. After looking over the list of new features, we selected five and then read each of the corresponding proposals. The papers contain a lot of messy text, which is intended to justify why this particular feature should be part of the core language or the standard library. Sometimes the proposal includes examples, and other times you will find abstract technical information which is often complicated. The other key component includes the exact language additions or requested changes to the standard. Two of the changes we are going to talk about are the enhancements to Lambda expressions. The other three are new features which will be added to the language. Lambda expressions were added in C++11. Although it may not be widely known, you could omit the parentheses when the parameter list was empty, but only with simple lambda expressions. It seems like most developers included the parentheses for consistency or readability. But as these expressions get longer and more complicated, leaving off unnecessary parts can be desirable. The two examples we are showing have exactly the same meaning even though the empty parameter list is shown in example A and was removed in example B. Calling either of these lambdas will produce the same result. The string grape is sent to standard out. Looking at either lambda expression, var is captured by value. The contents of this string will be copied when the lambda expression is evaluated. Capturing this variable by value creates a new string which is const qualified. This is not a problem for the current example since all we are doing with the captured variable is printing its value. So what happens when the body of the lambda expression needs to modify the captured variable? Assuming we do not want to change the original variable, we need to mark the lambda expression with the mutable keyword. The syntax shown in example A has been valid since C++11 and declares a mutable lambda expression where the captured variables are not const qualified. Example B shows the same expression with the empty parentheses removed. Prior to C++23, example B results in a compiler error indicating this code has a syntax problem. Allowing example B to compile might feel like a minor change. However, the ability to leave out the empty parentheses could improve readability when the lambda expression has multiple parts, like a requires clause and a trailing return type. Mutable is not the only keyword which will cause a syntax error if you leave off the empty parentheses. Some of the other keywords and constructs which will result in the same problem are constexpr, constEval, or a requires clause. C11 added the ability to specify attributes like no return and deprecated for both class methods and free functions. The second change is about supporting attributes in a lambda expression. As a quick review, a lambda expression declares an unnamed class with a special method referred to as a function call operator. The code in this method comes from the body of the lambda expression. There is no syntax to apply attributes to the class generated by a lambda expression. Only vendor or compiler attributes can currently appear in a lambda expression, and they apply to the function in the unnamed class. Prior to C++23, placing an attribute like no discard was not permitted by the standard. However, some compilers would allow it, even if they ignored it. 
Other compilers would produce a warning or an error, so there was no consistency. The behavior was also influenced based on where the attribute appeared within the Lambda expression. Starting with the release of C++23, four existing attributes can be used, and they need to appear directly after the capture clause. Thankfully, the standard has now been improved, so every compiler vendor can support Lambda expression attributes in the same way. One of the new functions in C++23 is STD unreachable. The intent is to mark a specific location in your source code, which you are certain is never executed. If the designated block of code is not reachable at runtime, there is no reason for the compiler to generate output for this block. Used wisely, the compiler can optimize based on the agreement that a given block of code is not reachable. Our example shows a simple function with one switch statement. According to the code, the only values which can be passed to the test function are 0 and 1. If any other number is passed, the default case will be chosen and the code calls std unreachable. What we found interesting is that passing a value of 2 results in undefined behavior. The UB occurs because the compiler was allowed to skip generating the binary code for this code path. The ability to mark a section of code as unreachable may not seem like it adds much to the standard. Here are two reasons why it might be of value to call this function. If the compiler can generate more efficient code, this will result in better runtime performance. Looking at our example, it should be clear the compiler does not need to generate code for the default block. The compiler can optimize our code even further and probably remove the switch statement completely. The second reason for using STD unreachable is to prevent various compiler warnings from being generated. If you write a function which returns a value, the compiler can warn if the return statement is missing. This may point out a serious bug in your code. On the other hand, what if the warning is a false positive? The compiler may not be able to see every path through your code base. As the developer, you might know the function will always exit early and never reach the closing curly brace. Placing a call to std unreachable at the end of the function should suppress this warning. It is worth repeating. If control does reach the end of this function, then your program has undefined behavior. C23 added a new attribute with the name assume. When using this attribute, your code must supply exactly one argument, which is an expression that must evaluate to a Boolean. It may seem odd, but the compiler will not evaluate this expression. The compiler uses this expression for optimization and will assume the expression is always true. In this example, our source code makes the assumption the past variable count will have a value from 0 to 10. This can be useful for compiler optimization. For example, the compiler may choose to unroll the for loop and instead generate 10 copies of the body. The binary output can now check the value of count once and then jump to the correct location in the unrolled code. The assume attribute has a slightly different meaning when it is used inside a function which can be called at compile time. If the compiler can prove the assumption would be violated, it can return a compile error, produce a warning, or even ignore the assumption. If the compiler cannot prove if the assumption is true or false, it must ignore the assumption. There is another aspect of this attribute, 
which can be a bit tricky. What happens if the expression is false at runtime? The compiler can assume the code is unreachable, and this has the same effect as calling the function std unreachable. If the program reaches the assume attribute and the expression is false, your program will have undefined behavior. The last feature we want to look at involves code used to determine if we are executing at compile time or runtime. Currently, the only mechanism we have to make this determination is to call the function std is constant evaluated. Both this function and the const eval keyword were added in C20. Const eval was added to mark a function which can only be called at compile time, as opposed to a const expr function which can be called at compile time or runtime. Calling is constant evaluated returns true when the code is executed at compile time. Testing the return value of this function in an if statement is fine. The potential problem is with any of the source code located inside the compile time if block. The code in this block cannot call any functions which are marked const eval. Calling functions which are marked const expr is allowed. In C23, if const eval was added to ensure the compile time block of code is only used at compile time and not included in the runtime binary. The syntax of this statement is unusual and must be used precisely. The condition must be the exact keyword const eval, and it is not surrounded by parentheses. The condition must also be followed by braces, and they are not optional. If an else clause is present, it must also be surrounded by braces. There are lots of other improvements and new features in C23, and we look forward to exploring some of these in future videos. For more information about Copperspice, please visit our website at www.copperspice.com. Thanks for watching. We hope you found the content of value. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave a comment on this video or send us an email. Please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and come back for our next video.